Hi, I'm television and radio garden host Mike Darcy. I'd like to welcome you to Garden Solutions, a video series about home gardening and landscaping. It's brought to you by Meta, the active ingredient in snail and slug baits such as Cory's and Deadline. Hi, I'm Mike Darcy, and I've been giving Northwest Gardeners information on how to garden, the best plants, best control measures for many years on my radio show. Right now, I'm at Al's Garden Center in Sherwood, Oregon, and our topic is going to be plants that slugs love. Now, first of all, let me say that there's not many plants they don't like, but there's some that I think they particularly love. Marigolds are one. When you plant out marigolds, I've had people tell me they put them out one day and the next day it doesn't even look like they planted anything because they've been devastated by slugs. A few other plants that I just picked that I think slugs particularly like, dahlias are one. Dahlias just come, they come in all kinds of colors, but when these first come up in the ground, they're really tender and slugs will really go after them. A few other annual plants that they like, cosmos are one right here. Once again, they look a little bit like marigolds, the foliage, but it's a different plant, slugs love it, and impatience. Since impatience a lot of times grow in the shade, that's where slugs really like to be. These are particularly vulnerable. And a perennial plant, that's one that comes up every year that slugs just love, are hostas. I like hostas myself, I always have some in my own garden, but I consider them slug magnets. And we're really growing hostas for the foliage, so remember that when a slug takes a bite out of the leaf, that hole is always going to be there, so your foliage is going to kind of be ruined a little bit for the balance of the summer. When hostas first come up in the spring, it's a good idea to bait, put some bait around them right away. And as I mentioned on these other plants, when you plant them, what I do is, once they're in the ground, water them, wet the soil because that sort of attracts the slugs. Then I use Cory's The Meal right here, sprinkle that around lightly, and that'll give your plants protection. So just remember, it's a lot easier to prevent than it is to cure. So if you can prevent them from attacking your plants, you're much better off in the long run. Just a few tips there on plants that slugs particularly love.